All right, guys. So I want to talk about this. This shit's pissing me off. It's, it's been it's been pissing me off all fucking evening long, and uh, it's this insanely annoying habit. The vast majority of idiots and the vast majority of people out there are fucking idiots. Uh, have any time you talk about a problem, any time you bring up a problem, and you even suggest solutions. Okay, it's not just that I that, that you bring up problems that that shouldn't be happening in the first place. Okay, I mean it's stupid shit. Like, and it's it, it's stupid laws, stupid regulation. And this part of the world, this bloody place I'm living in, is especially bad. Uh, it's a struggle to find a decent goddamn beer. You wouldn't believe it, but uh, I drink a lot of beer, and uh, man. I, it is a hassle to even find a fucking liquor store around here. We don't have, you know, uh, this part of the world, apparently they don't believe in convenience stores. See, this is what I keep saying. China, man, people complain about China all the time, but Ch and China and Russia, but China and Russia do not have half of the miserable fucking problems the rest of the fucking world has. That could, that could be avoided. Uh... Sort of like dry counties in the U.S., which makes no sense. You know, uh, why would you want a dry county? If somebody wants a damn beer, then they're going to drive to the next county, they're going to drink there, then they're going to drive back drunk. What is the fucking point? Road accidents? But uh, then in the U.S. you have this thing of... But, I mean, America is a lot better because uh, these laws and these, uh, th these stupid things, I mean, they exist, but only... Only, only until, until a point. Oh man, this place I'm at, India, it's just getting worse and worse by the day. I used to be kind of wary of saying it, but I don't give a shit any longer. I don't care, because it's true. I don't care what other people think of it, but it's true. You know, and everybody is saying it around me. People just don't want to go on YouTube and, you know, Twitter and all that and say it publicly. I want to say it publicly, because there's no reason it should be happening anyway. So, every time I bring up a problem that shouldn't be happening in the first place, for example, I had this, this uh, postpaid mobile phone, and they wanted a security deposit for that. So, okay, I pay it. Uh, my bill comes. The deposit is not on the bill. So I contact them. They say, oh, we'll get it done. And three months pass. Nothing happens. Nothing and in these three months, I call an agent, God knows how many times. I call the guy that sold me the phone, God knows how many times. No answer, no response. Then when I get pissed off, I write them like these long emails. Then they reply. Because when you write somebody something, they have to reply, right? I mean, because then they, they can't run away from the fucking facts. Uh, I, I tell them, look, guys, I paid you this amount of money for a goddamn phone. I trusted you. Uh, you know, and now you're saying you'll just take the money and run away with it, essentially, because, you know, and they're like, oh, no, sir, we're not going to do that. Why do you talk like that? I'm like, well, why is it not reflecting on my goddamn phone bill? It's been three months, you know, it should, because the deal was you pay the deposit and, uh, you know, if you want to cancel the phone, then that de deposit is, ref is refundable. But if they don't show it on the damn bill, well, guess what? You're up shit creek without a fucking paddle. So I point all that out. I tell these guys that months and months pass. So you guys, you know me, right? I mean, I, I, I can't tolerate bullshit and I get pissed off very easily because all around me, guess what? It's bullshit, you know. Uh, Andrew Tate, you know, is, is somebody like a Tate, somebody like a Goggins, these guys have millions of dollars. You'll never hear them saying, oh, I'm so satisfied with my life, I don't want to change anything. These motherfuckers are out there. They're pissed off, they're angry, they're savage. They're fucking savage, you know, uh, and they're trying to change shit, though they really don't need to. With their millions of dollars, they could probably buy countries, you know. Okay, not a country, but you get my point. It's... It's so much stupid shit like that, man. In this part of the world I'm in right now, not by choice. I, I, I said that in another video. It's because of COVID that I that I had to come here. Um, and 
you, you know, I'm, I'm putting all the arrangements in place to return to China, which isn't perfect, but it's a lot fucking better than here, you know, which is why so many people go to China. Nobody comes here, but unless they have to. But uh, every time I bring up some problems or anything, I hear a whole bunch of people, oh, that's tough, but I'm happy with my life. It's kind of like the scene in Rocky 1. So Rocky is trying to be a boxer. He's trying to improve his life, you know, even though he has no hope. But deep in the back of his mind, maybe someday something will change. So he talks to this bartender about, you know, Apollo Creed. And uh, and uh, he was like, hey, man, look, Apollo Creed, famous boxer. And bartender was like, oh, so what? And uh, Rocky was like, hey, this guy took his best shot at being great. What shot did you ever take? So the bartender picks up a couple of shots, and he's like, you know, you want me to take a shot? I'll take a shot. And uh, Rocky's like, yeah, fuck you, man. Here's your pay. You know, he pays him, and he just fucking leaves, you know, because it's pointless. See, that's what I'm talking about. People that say they're happy with their lives are usually living lives of mediocrity. They're mediocre sons of bitches, man. They, they have no chance at improvement. They accept their life the way it is, and they know. And then, you know, deep down inside, they know their lives are shit. They know that. But the thing is, they have no hope, no real hope. Yeah, they listen to all these YouTube videos about the gurus telling them, I'm rich, I'm successful, I have, you know, I am a happy person. Yeah, you know, they'll keep affirming it, and, you know, it's so fucking annoying, man. It is so fucking annoying. Because the vibe you get off these people is unhappy, frustrated, you know. And uh, th th these are the sort of people that will keep telling you, when you bring up a problem that needs to be changed, it is what it is. I cannot tell you how, mu how much that statement pisses me off, man. It is not what it is. If everything... If, 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 you know, the Wright brothers would say, hey man, it is what it is, human beings can't fly, we would have no airplanes. If Alexander Graham Bell would have said, hey man, we can't just call people, uh, you know, X miles away from us, then guess what? No telephone. If Thomas Edison said, it is what it is, we have candles, you know, then there would never be the light bulb. It is these fucking idiots that say, I'm happy with my life. These fucking idiots, man, not only are they not happy with their life, these are the same people. It is what it is. And no, it's not what it is. It is what it is for now. But these people will then respond and tell you, nothing will ever change. Hey, man, nothing ever changes because your sorry asses don't want it to change. I mean, I can't believe it. In the so-called democracy, they elect people. Then they complain about the same people that they themselves elect. Four years pass, they elect somebody else. Then they complain about that person. Why the fuck do you even go to you go to the to the damn elections, man? I mean, I, I I don't get it. People are fucking idiots in general, man. Uh, they're happy to live quiet lives of desperation, like the great philosopher Thoreau said. Most men are content to lead lives of quiet desperation. And you know why that makes it more annoying for people like you and I, or people like you, uh, hopefully you and I? Because we're always pacing up and down, we want shit to change. Motherfucker, I want this to change. I want this done now, I want this problem fixed now, I want this shit solved now. You know, uh, because these things are normal for us, you know. Fitness-wise, it's the same thing, you know. All these idiots that come up to me in the park, oh, you are, you, your pull-ups are so good. Or you have these idiots, why are you doing pull-ups? You should be working your mind, not your body. Yeah, asshole. I mean, idiot. Mind and body works together. But, uh, it is these same people that are fat, they're lazy, they're out of shape, they can't do a single push-up, let alone a pull-up, and they talk a big game. Then when you tell them, hey man, this is how you improve, you know, I, I don't get it. Why would somebody want to praise me? I get why they want to praise me, because I'm good. I'm very good. But 
why would they want to praise me and not be better than me? All my life, people that I praise, and even up till today, I mean, it could be anybody. It could be actors like Denzel Washington, Sylvester Stallone. It could be personalities like, you know, Andrew Tate, Goggins, whoever, you know. It could be business people like Jeff Bezos. It could be. But I don't look at these people and I don't put them on a pedestal and say, that, oh, they're so great, I can never get close to them. No, that's bullshit. Anybody can get close to it. It's all about surpassing. It's all about setting records that, that, that will be broken. You know, and you can break them. If I'm good at pull-ups, you can be better than me at pull-ups. You can learn from me, and you can be better than me. You know, there's things I've learned from other people, and now I'm better than those other people at those things because I worked my ass off for it. Okay? Um, if I were to just sit back tomorrow and say, oh, I'm happy with my life, guess what? I wouldn't just be mediocre, I'd be fucking at the bottom of the fucking barrel. I'd be utter, complete, Glenn Schofield's type shit. You know, I'm not saying don't say you're happy with your life or whatever, but the why, you know, that says it all. If you're truly happy with your life, man, when somebody brings up problems that, that are genuine problems, shit that needs to be fixed, then you're going to listen to it. You're not just going to say he's complaining this and that because they're valid complaints, you know. I don't know if, if what I'm saying makes sense. I believe it does. But uh, a lot of people bring up valid complaints and they're hushed by other people saying, you know, uh, don't complain and all this other bullshit. Well, if you didn't complain, man, nothing would ever change. Okay? That court case that I keep talking about that we had, you know, if he hadn't complained, we'd just get fucked up the ass and nothing would change. Just one example. You know, people, but people, you know, when it affects them, they're the first ones to complain. When it doesn't affect them, oh, well, what would he do? All is good, all is well with the world, you know. And man, the bullshit just pisses me off, man. It pisses me off. If you're one of these people, you're pathetic.